Welcome to Super Castlevania 4. I am Jonathan, this is Fish Tuxedo, and this is a retro LP inspired by Mike, who is now playing through Super Metroid. I am not a retro, gra retro guy, but I saw him start that, so I thought, what better time to give something a go that I have not played before than now. I'm feeling it. All right, <laughs> let's get into it. Uh, I have played some Castlevania before. Um, okay, that's not the right button. There we go. Uh, but I have not played this one. I think I played a bit of Symphony of the Night and I played some of the DS ones. Uh, but, and I guess I played some of the original NES ones, uh, but that's about it, really. So I'm not coming into this with much experience, some experience, let's say, but I am hyper aware of the series and what these games are. I do remember uh, playing and loving, uh, I, I believe it's Simon's Quest. Uh, the second one on NES, the one with, uh, I guess we're heading into Dracula's Castle here, isn't that how all these go? That's the one with, like, a uh, day and night cycle, and, uh, shops and junk. Uh, I remember liking that quite a bit. I believe this one's a more traditional, just, action game. We got the tunes. Can we not get that? We can't get that one, huh? Why is that behind the thing? Okay. Fine. We don't need it. Uh, so, as I said, are we supposed to drop down here? Man, listen to that. Alright. Drop down? No. <laughs> that is definitely not what we're supposed to do. Is there a run? What what was I supposed to be doing there? Oh, we can do some sweet moves with this thing, though. Up and down, too. Let's get down here. Let's get our whip upgrades, our armor upgrades, whatever we got, whatever we need. Hmm, I'm feeling that soundtrack. Oh, maybe through here, huh? Okay, I gotcha. I see how this works. Let's go back and get that thing that we were like, hey, what's up with that thing? <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, and as I was saying, I, I think I've said this three times now. I'm not a retro guy at all. I love me the pretty graphics. Uh, that is in the forefront. So, uh, I'm generally playing the latest and greatest. Uh, so we'll see how I fare here. I don't know, I don't... I don't hate retro games by any stretch of the imagination. I think it's just uh, when I sit down with an opportunity to play some games. I don't know. I'm a technology guy. I love, I love uh, beefy graphics. I like all that sort of stuff. So, uh, not that there's n uh, not nothing to appreciate in this old stuff. Obviously, the the art style and a lot of this stuff is highly revered. Um, I do, I do like some pic pixel graphics from time to time. What's up with you, guy? Looks like we gotta go back to the forefront here. See so, ya. Uh, what are we doing? How do we get? I don't know how to get over that. What are we missing here? Is there a door? Oh, we can just keep going. All right, that wasn't really clear, but gotcha. Oh, you guys. Oh, okay. So, for those unfamiliar with these games, uh, I'll try to explain stuff as we come across it. Not that I know a bunch about them, but I know some things uh, that might not be readily apparent. I know that wall chickens are great, always and forever. You always want to eat chickens from a wall. If you find one, 
in a wall or around a wall, you probably always want to eat that. <laughs> That'll give it you health. Uh, and instinct uh, would tell you that um, hearts are health. They are, in fact, are not. They sort of dictate how many times you can use your special weapon. Uh, and I don't know how to do that. I'm trying, kind of. Oh, we got that guy, though. How do we... The original game is like up and something. Okay, it's, uh... It's, uh, right... Right, uh, bumper there. We didn't call them bumpers back in the day. What were they called? Right? What? What's that called? Come on, SNES people. Tell me what that was called. The one you hit with your index finger. It's called a bumper. <laughs> Man, what's that little flip thing? How did I do that? Huh, I can't I can't reproduce it. Oh, it's like you do it straight and then if you push up like right at the last second, he'll do a crazy spin thing. So let's just sit here and try to do that forever. Oh, and then it'll hold it. Oh, that's weird. Can we do like a we can kind of like fling it around. Is this physics based? Is this the first instance of physics in games? Oh yeah, we just get the momentum right and we can get it going. I wonder if that hurts, guys. Huh. I don't see how that would actually be useful in many circumstances. Why? Did that hurt me? Oh, we got a swing! Oh, that seems bad, though. I think I'll fall through. Is that for- is there- is that just like a tutorial thing? It's trying to teach us how to do it? Or is there like a secret area we can get to? Oh. I don't know. I'm sure we'll come across that again. Hey, there's a... I see a hand. Oh, yep. Yeah, I see a club. Oh man, that guy... I don't like that guy. Okay, let's get our swing on. Yeah! Okay, now we gotta do it for real. Got it. We're moving through. Not too much trouble. Is this Simon? I know this whole series has a bunch of different protagonists of the Belmont family and not. Uh, I won't even attempt to explain any lore or anything because I don't know anything about it! From the DS ones, I know some dudes have whips, some have swords. I don't know what dictates that. Maybe if you're not a Belmont, you can't use a whip or something, who knows? I'm, I'm sure there's some explanation. I'm sure many of you know it, but I do not. Okay, I know that's holy water. And this feels like we might be oh, coming up on a boss here. Come on, do it. Sweet. What's all this cash for? Is this just... I think it's just points, right? It's just score. Back when... I mean, back when score w was a thing, even though most people didn't care. Oh, horse head. Got some godfather action up in here. Ooh, ceiling horse head. Oh, flying horse head, actually. Alright, alright. Got a wall chicken? Oh yeah, we probably do. Oh, we got a wall heart. Not quite as exciting. Man, we could really use a wall chicken right about now, actually. Our health up there isn't looking great. I'm digging this music, though. What? What's this sound? Oh, it's our timer! Oh, right. There's a... This is an old-school game. We got... We're timed. Let's... Let's... Let's get moving. I don't, I don't know if we can make it. I don't know where we need to make it to, but it feels like we're not going to make it. Is there a run? I don't think there's run. And we're dead anyway. Okay, well, we reset our time. That's something, I guess. Oh, man. We're going to get a game over here. Yeah, we have one dude left. That seems real bad. Oh, no, no, we're... And we missed that upgrade. Well, alright. Let's just try to survive here. Oh, 
Oh, he's dead. Oh, I thought it took two hits there. Come on, Medusa heads. Bring it. I'll dodge you for days. Man, I don't like these fall-through things. I believe that is a technical term, too. Fall-through things. I mean, maybe you haven't played as much Castlevania as me, so I don't blame you if you haven't heard that term, but I do believe that's official. Can we? Okay. How am I supposed to get past this guy? Like, it doesn't appear that there's a run. So, oh, you have got to be kidding me. And I just figured out how you're supposed to get past it. Use your special, idiot. We are down to one guy. How do these games work again? I, b I do believe uh, if you have to continue, you can, you can restart on the same area, but it starts you at the beginning of the area. So at this point, we're basically in a situation where we're going to have to defeat the boss. Uh, oh! Okay, well. Now we find out. Yeah, continue. Back at the beginning, are we? Yeah, we are! Alright. <laughs> Ugh. Alright, I'm... gonna try to jam through this quickly. Oh, straight up outside the castle and everything! Alright. That's alright. That's alright. We're getting our Castlevania feet. We're figuring this out. We're killing s skeletons. We can listen to this sweet music some more. Also, I want to try to kill the one of these guys with that crazy whip twirling move. Okay, so it starts us out with. Oh, I didn't mean to kill. Um, back on this side, and back on this side. Oh yeah, we get to listen to sweet music some more. It's really... It, oh, uh, how did I not kill that? I hit that guy. So really, everyone wins. It would have been a shame if I didn't die. Okay, forget trying to use the fling and whip thing. I'm over. I do want to play not too carelessly, though, here, because... Oh! Really? That's not cool. It's supposed to shoot out the top head. Ah, oh, but it was facing the other way. I don't know what that thing is I just got. Maybe invincibility? My dude's like kind of invisible or something. I could use a wall chicken. This would be perfect timing. Okay, I do believe there might be one down there. Or not. Great! And I, I don't think health comes out of these things, out of the sconces. But again, I don't know much about this game or series, other than mostly what I know through uh, osmosis. Okay, hand guy, bring it! Yeah! Oh, wait, wait, we actually need to use that one. Whoa, that was close. Oh, I'm almost... Okay, so health do come out of the... does come out of the sconces, because it just happened. Oh, yeah, we're mastering this thing. This is gonna be a breeze. No problem. I do think it's funny that... I mean, I, I would have assumed it was like a design limitation of the hardware or something of the NES at the time. Uh, but it is funny to me that uh, if you fall, instead of actually taking the stairs down, it kills you. And th that's the thing they, they like, accepted as a design philosophy of the game. I mean, maybe it was from the beginning. Uh, I tend to think... I mean, I tend... It seems like it wouldn't have been. But who knows. Where are we? Oh, we got these guys again. We're just cruising. We got some horse heads coming up, if I remember correctly. What up, ho horse heads? What's up? And flying horse head. Uh, hard. Right. Uh, 
Okay, flying horse head, bring it. We got Medusa heads next. And Trapdoor Central. I don't know, do we want that clock? I know it's a stop time thing. I don't know. I don't know what's good to have. Oh, 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 oh. How did that, how did I survive? Oh. Okay, I'm not too worried about uh, being low on health, actually. Because I think if we make it to the boss, or we continue at the boss. Oh yeah, give me that chair. Oh, I wasn't paying attention. Okay, we got it. Medusa heads, no big deal. We can handle it. Maybe. Got this on lock. Medusa heads. Man, they just really want to screw you with those trapdoors. Give me that heart. We are low on hearts, though, actually. I believe we'll need as many hearts as uh, we can get when it comes boss time. And I always forget about that trapdoor there. And we miss the heart. We gotta get it so this guy hits us and doesn't knock us off the wrong way. Oh, let's try, try our... Oh yeah! There we go! Oh, <laughs> The flinging whip! Delivers! Okay, don't fall off. so good. We're doing amazing. Let's do... Oh, I should have done that guy from there. Big mistake. Big mistake. Okay, we made it. Not a big mistake. Okay, boss time. What do we got? We got some sort of crazy skeleton thing. Skeleton thing. Hey, guy. Eat it. Oh, this guy's nothing. <laughs> oh, he's back. Seriously? Wow. Castlevania. It's not quite what I expected. Man, that's a real Metroid deal right there. Glowing orb. Okay. Alright. Stage two. Doing it. Through the woods. And up to... Down the river. to Waterland, Waterworld. If I recall from other games, there are crazy lizard men that suck. Okay, I guess I guess there are times where you straight up have to use that fling and whip thing, which is weird. It's a real kind of weird mechanic. I mean, I'm not saying I'm not into it, but it is a weird thing. What are those, like, tree mummies? Invisible tree mummies? Yeah, we'll go with invisible tree mummies. Eat it, spider! Or invisible-ish, I suppose. Got some spikes, that can't be good. How about anything? Okay, forget it, we don't need it. I'm not chancing it. Got some armadillos or something? Evil armadillos? Yeah, I don't know if they're evil. Maybe they're just regular. I mean, I'm, I'm the dude coming into this place. They're probably just in their home, right? You gonna... You gonna roll me? Alright. Man, that is a lot of sconces right there. I don't know how I feel about that. Maybe it's modern games design that has taught me this, but I'm always uh, a little worried when they give me a when I get a bunch of stuff all together at once. I, see, I saw those spikes. We're good. Hey, they're like leaf leaf bears, not wall, not tree mummies. Leaf bears. Oh, here's our mummy. Maybe. 
What are you guys doing hanging out in the woods here? I mean, I get it. I get the armadillos, kind of. Even though they're more arid creatures, I would say. <laughs> Welcome to, uh... Jonathan's wonderful world of animals. It's the first in my series of Dave David Attenborough style um, nature documentaries uh, made completely with footage from classic retro games. Man, that's a strong bag. Use some chicken. I guess I'm not getting that. Oh, you damn frog. Trying to do me bad. Okay, no, okay, I just don't want to fall off stuff. I don't care if I get hit so much. Those frogs can jump in that stuff? Oh, I don't think I can get across there, can I? Oh, that seems real bad. I don't think I was supposed to do this. I regret everything. I definitely can't go in there. Oh, I can! Okay, that's a surprise. I guess those frogs aren't as magical as I thought. Okay, Armadillo, you're fine. Actually, I have my, my wall chicken sense is tingling. No? Oh yeah! Big one too! Man, maybe I am. Maybe I do know these games. Some sort of... Okay. Jump on that. Okay. I don't know, it's only a matter of time until this starts going real bad again. Okay. And full health! Might as well be doing a speed run here. Yeah, boss already, huh? I mean, I feel like I'm cheesing it, but... <laughs> Alright, uh... If things keep going like this, we may not be in for a very long series here. What is that two? I don't know what that two means. Is that a double damage deal? Okay, I do not have it anymore. I seem to recall from watching uh, some other... It might have been even being the Giant Bomb guys. Vinny. Uh, he had a series called Vinnyvania. Uh, where he played a bunch of Castlevania. And I seem to recall something like the two is a double damage. It's only for the special weapon you have equipped at the time, and then if you get a different special weapon, you lose the double damage. I could be making all of that up, but uh, sounds like a thing. Okay, I see you. Okay, man, that guy is, uh, for his size, he doesn't pack as much punch as you would expect. And what's happening with this water? Is it, like, changing directions regularly? I, don't, I, didn't, I wasn't really paying attention, but I think that's what just happened. Or I think that's what is happening. I feel super overpowered right now. Yeah, it just changed directions. It must be just on some sort of timing based thing. Alright, stage three. So that was like a post boss walk. Alright, sure. Okay. We made it to stage three here. It looks like some sort of cave situation, and I think we're gonna call it here uh, for this first episode of Super Castlevania 4 
for the SNES. Actually, I never called it SNES when I was a kid. I've just sort of uh, assimilated after hearing tons of people call it that forever. I always called it the Super NES. So we'll go with Super NES. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Leave a like, uh, share it on Twitter. Do, do what you gotta do. Uh, and it will be much appreciated. And I will see you on the next episode. Later.